Air supply? Oh, no, no, I'm not a big what air supply. What about Elvis? Elvis, again, discuss it at home if you like. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. that claimed the life of a Vermilion Parish Sheriff's uh, Officer. We're going to have more on that. We'll also tell you about a recall effort against Linwood Broussard with the city parish government. And it's a good life for felines. We're going to show you a hospital that has cats meowing to get in. Finally tonight, it's the birthday of the legendary rock and roll. I thought that he'd be related to the king. I don't think Jimmy Carter shook his hips at all. Entirely. And I don't want to speculate about that. We, don't, we, we won't speculate about That's that. Right. But anyway, of course, we're going to have more news for you, more sports maybe. You know, you might get a little wrestling move on me tonight. Ooh, I'm not sure if you want that. That would be interesting. <laughs> You'll have to see. Anyway, we want to tell folks to, that we thank them for watching us. Of course, we're going to have more for you tonight at 10 o'clock. We're going to have the latest news, more sports, and of course, more weather because mm -hmm. people are wondering whether it's going to rain. And they're worried about all that smoke, but yeah. we've heard nothing bad about the smoke. No, actually what we've heard is that it's sugarcane fields burning. So we'll probably try we'll to find see. out more on that. <laughs> anyway, that's it for us here this, uh, this evening. We're going to have more for you tonight. Enjoy ABC programming. We'll see you at 10. It's something they must do every day, but today one officer paid the price serving in the line of duty. Good evening, everyone. I'm Agnes Derwin. Thanks for joining us. Candace Gale has the evening off. A tragic story out of Vermilion Parish this evening. A narcotics officer with the Sheriff's Department was killed in the line of duty early this morning in Sabine Parish. Sergeant Ta Tuchet was allegedly shot in the head with a high-powered rifle while making a drug buy in the parking lot of the 8-Ball Lounge. KATC's Tanya Lacoste has the story. A black ribbon yet to be arranged. Tuchet was 35 years old. Meanwhile, a game apparently turned dangerous in Kankton tonight as an eight-year-old Lafayette child was struck by an oncoming car. Apparently, this isn't the first time something has gone wrong at the plant. Hubbard says they've had three incidents. The others were minor fires. In Bro Bridge, 11 adults and one juvenile are under arrest for their alleged participation in a counterfeit event. He asked to vote for or against Broussard's recall. Voters. So that means about 4,500 names are registered voters are needed for a recall. All right. Thanks a lot for that update, Monica. Now to other news. Governor Mike Foster will take his second oath of office on Monday. News Channel at 10. Governor Mike Foster and newly elected officials gear up for a big day and at the same time a former governor prepares for yet another trial. Good evening, everyone. I'm Deborah Terrabiel. Thank you for joining us. Candace Gale has the evening off. Well, all eyes with good. A number of times, the bridge was showcased at the International Bridge Conference in Pittsburgh this past summer and in two presentations in Europe. It will also be featured in the March 2000 issue of the journal HPC Bridge Views. And Monica, can we expect to see more bridges using this concrete in the future? Yes, Deborah. In fact, we can, there's, they have a few projects proposed, including using the high-performance concrete on a bridge in Jefferson Davis Parish and another bridge in Calcasieu Parish. Well, we expect you to do stories on those bridges Definitely. as well. Thank you, Monica. Coming up on... This is KATC, Acadiana's news channel, voted the best newscast in Louisiana. A flu outbreak sweeps through the UK, reaching serious epidemic levels. That story tops tonight's world wrap.